Hey YouTube, welcome to the fifth part in my RC plane build series. Um, in this part I'll be in, uh, installing the servos into the plane. So um, I'll just get onto this quickly. I've got the fully built plane here uh, at foam and I've also taped it along the leading edges and on the bottom and strengthened up the nose quite a bit because I don't expect to be crushing this. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so, uh, okay. So basically this plane is three channel, so I might upgrade it to a four channel eventually with rudder, but you know, whatever. So you got a servo down there. And oh and I'll, oh, the servos are in little bags at the moment from where I got them. You got a servo on the other side for the other aileron. And then you got one final servo. down at the back here for the elevator so it's just three servos I'll, I've got a force, force rule what I'm going to do I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to get a uh, marker and just mark out where these are going to go and then I'll cut them out and then we'll go from there okay so I just got myself a uh, marker here and also I've brought the plans so I can just double check um, the positions here obviously now these are just um, Approximate locations for the servos, but uh, you know I might as well do it as the sound as the uh, plans say. So, so basically it says just a bit further back than the middle of this bit here for the aileron servos. So what I'm going to do is get the servo. What about there or something? It doesn't really matter that much as long as you get it roughly the same on either side. So I'm just going to draw a line round. Hold on a sec. See that? Yeah, you can see that. I'm just going to draw a line around here on the foam. Now this marker does dissolve the foam a little bit, but you know it's not much, so it's okay. Oops, moved it a bit. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut this one out. Just make sure everything's okay, um, and then I'm gonna mark out the others. So now to cut it out, I would use a hot wire, so that would be much easier. But because uh, I don't have one, I um, instead I'm gonna just use a really sharp scalpel. Now when you do this, uh, either use a hot wire or make sure you've got a sharp scalpel. Now what I thought was sharp, um, it was the blade was not that old, but just change the blade for a brand new one because you'll find it a million times easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut slightly inside the line because it's better smaller than big and also I want it to be a really good fit. So I'm going to cut about a millimetre inside the line, millimetre to two millimetres. There's just a little bit that I cut out. And I'll just... Now I'm just going to try and um, fit it in here and see how good the uh, fit is. And adjust it accordingly. Oops, let's fit the wire through there first. And, okay, so the height is good. Actually it's a bit big, but you know, I'll hot glue that in, whatever. Uh, just not or something. No, it probably would be perfect, but I have to get the wire through there as well, so... Yeah, whatever. So I'm just going to check the fit again. <clears throat> Make sure also, whenever you're using a uh, scalpel, use um, a mat or something. This is just an old bit of um, spare kitchen... Uh, floor stuff, it's the rubbery sort of stuff. So, okay, it's gonna be a really tight fit. So. Ah, yes, there we go, that's perfect, that is absolutely perfect. So, um, I'll just give you a quick look at that. Oh, where are we? There we are. So, that's just a nice, really tight fit in there because the foam can be a bit spongy. Uh, you want to have it a tight fit and then you want to uh, squeeze it up against the foam to get it in there. 
rather than having it slot in there really easily and having to pack it out with something. Uh, so this is the easiest way to do it. When you start off, make sure you start a bit in as well, because that way it's also smaller on the sideways angle. So, or maybe whatever. And test the size, just make the lead through that. Oops. Um, yeah. So, again, vertical is okay. Sorry, height is okay. I should cool it, but width needs a bit more. So, I'm just gonna carve this side out a bit. What I'm doing here is just shading off a bit how it still works. I'll test that. So, always make it too small because it's quite easy to make it bigger. Just for all pain to make it. Smaller. Sorry, make it, it's a real pain to make it, um, just easy to make it bigger. So there we go, you can see that fits real nice in there. Really nice and strong, so then I can just hop through them. Whoops. That's the wrong way around. Make sure you have your servos the right way around. It probably doesn't actually affect anything, but just to make it neater. So. both aileron servos in there. So now we'll get onto the elevator, which is practically the same. I'm just going to check the servo position on the uh, plans. And uh, so, here we go. Uh, so on the plans, it says, I should have it, you can see, right now. Um, just about, just after that notch there, so, you can see, wait, what side does it say? It says have it on the left side, that's probably doable, where I might be random, I'm not sure, I'm probably talking about. But um, it says have it just after that notch. There, so I think I'll put it right there. So yeah, that works. Just make it upside down. Let's get a zoom on this one. Ooh, there it just starts just before that starts to come out there. So there is. So yeah, I'm having this bit towards the back of the plane or towards the flat because then I can use less linkage, which means it'll be lighter. So I'm just gonna do the same exact same thing again. Just cut, uh, sorry, just draw around it there. A bit harder the wiring away, whoops. There we go. Just, ooh, that was a bit funny actually. Just make sure that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then just cut around that, which I shall do off camera because I don't want to get it wrong, okay? <laughs> so there we go, I just cut out that um, little hole there. I'm just going to test it. I'm pretty sure this will be much too small, but, anyways, never do stuff until you've tried it, like, before, don't think, oh, that looks too small, and I'll test it, because, and then cut it again, because it's quite easy to, yeah, okay, so I need, this time I need a little bit of, oops, let's drop that, <laughs> this time I need a little bit off the um, height, and also a little bit off the uh, length as well, the width, so I'll do that after. again, so there we go, just testing the size again, ah, there we go, nice, Perfect tight fit there. Now I've opted for the um, Metal Gear servos just because I've heard that the plastic ones are pretty useless because one little landing, like one tail landing, and it will break the uh, servo or the gears in it. So, okay, so that's all the servos installed, and it's still really light, so that's good. Let me just get a better angle on this. There we go. Um, so that feels good at the moment. All the leads, I think, are okay. Because they're mirrored, the actions will also be mirrored, so um, when they're both turning the same way, one flap will be going up, one will be going down. So um, I will figure that all out, and that's fine. Thanks for watching, and um, I should have the next part of this series up pretty soon, actually, because I'll get on to making the linkages tomorrow. All I'm going to do is get some uh, really st stiff wire and some cocktail sticks or shish kebab skewers and do that. I mean, I could use carbon spars, but it's, they're a bit expensive and I'm doing this to a uh, really um, short budget.